Hello, I'm going to show you how to go to our website, freeemulator.com, to download the Null DC Sega Dreamcast emulator for Windows. Go to Windows, scroll down and click on Sega Dreamcast. Be the second option here, version 1.0.4, which is the latest version as of right now. Click the image, the text, or the download now button. Go ahead and click the image. Save it to our hard drive. Give it a minute to finish downloading. And as soon as it is done downloading, that'll turn green. Go ahead and close out Firefox. Open up the folder we saved it to. Go ahead and right click and extract here. We're using WinRAR. Create this Dreamcast folder. Now we'll open up the exe file. It'll start in full screen, so we'll go to Options, Null DC Settings, and disable full screen so we can get a better look at everything. This one over here is kind of like a log viewer. Anytime you make a change or do anything in the emulator, it'll show exactly what's being performed. In the file, you can go to Normal Boot, and here you can boot a CDI file, NRG, I believe a GDI file as well. Click there to browse. This is how you, you boot a normal game. You can also open or load a bin elf file, and then you can exit from the file menu. System, you can start the, the Dreamcast, stop it, reset it. Options under Null DC settings, you know, full screen, we've seen that. You can auto hide the menu, which if you leave the mouse just sitting still for a couple seconds while the game's running, it will um, hide the menu. And then let's see, F show, doesn't do a whole lot, it shows show some information. Uh, cable type, you can choose different if you want. It makes it look different. Uh, system region, we're in USA, so we'll leave that as is. You can change the broadcast format. USA is NTSC. Europe is PAL. Japan is also NTSC. Um, under select plugins, you have a graphics plugin here. Don't have any options from the default. Uh, download the GDROM plugin. This game don't have any other options. Sound core, sound core plugin, you have empty or the null DC, uh, the sound CPU, just have the default option. Uh, you got under here the Maple plugins, this is to control your, your actual controller. I found that the Puru Puru plugin, I guess that's how you pronounce it, works the best for an Xbox 360 controller for me. Set this one to the VMU. And then this next option here, we'll go ahead and set it to the Puru Puru pack. Okay, there. Let's see, also under options, we have power VR. You can set the um, what the resolution is actually getting displayed at, getting rendered at, I should say. I have it on maximum support, so the render at 1080p. You can tell it's max 1280 by 800, the native 640 by 480, half of the maximum, and quarter of the maximum. So if it's running a little laggy, you can try one of those options. Aspect ratio actually actually sets extra geometry. That'll write the game in full screen mode. If you have a wide screen screen monitor, it'll fill up the I mean wide screen mode. It'll fill up the entire monitor on a lot of games, which is pretty sweet. Let's see now what else we have. We have this palleted textures. I'm not gonna mess with the, anything else here except I like to disable the show frames per second because it shows on the actual video of the game. Kind of gets in the way. You can still see it up at the, the tile bar of the emulator. DD-ROM, you can swap disk. I found this feature usually crashes an old DC when you try to use it, so I recommend just closing out an old DC and opening it back up if you want to play a different game. And then, let's see, also under the, the AICA, you can adjust the, the audio properties. You can mute the sound. Uh, we'll go to config. You can choose the buffer size. You can adjust it. It tells you different things you can do to if it's lagging or playing choppy. Sync to audio, it'll slow down your video if it needs to, to make sure everything's nice and sync. Also under options, um, the arm, we don't have many options there, just an about. Maple, this is where you configure your controller. Um, so you device one is the VMU. It'll actually show a VMU screen on your computer as well. We'll go to configure keys real quick. Here's where you can use a game pad or your keyboard to configure all the buttons that'll control the emulator. Uh, the games in the emulator, I should say. And you can click each one of these buttons to specify what button on your controller or key on your keyboard to use. You can, If you have a controller, like Xbox 360 controller or other gamepad, you can click there to set it. You can set all these different controllers too. 
you'd like to have multiplayer support. Also under options, under external devices, you can enable modem, LAN adapter, whatever BBA is. Um, we'll go to help about real quick. You can see we're running version 1.0.4. It's built June 20th, 2010. And that's about it. From there, you can load your game, go to file, normal boot, load up your CDI file, and then you're good to go from there. One thing real quick about freeemulator.com. We do not host any ROMs or games. We only host emulators. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave us a comment. Thank you.